what's up everyone it's alex line here we're at the 2024 stampede presented by innova pdga b tier i'm here with andrew mcgill otherwise known as squeaky and we're here to watch some coverage today i'm pretty excited so we're gonna get into it got myself out of placerville 975 rated week Quinn Berkvitz from Reno, Nevada, one of my good friends and touring buddies from back in the day. We lived in a van together for a while. It was pretty fun. Myself, the man, the myth, the loser. Who just woke up out of a van, as you can tell. No, it was a tent laying on the ground. Andrew Gutierrez, Reno, Nevada as well, 981 rated. Haven't seen him play till uh, this tournament. We got the... Bo Cleveland out of Placerville. Bo's been playing for a very long time as well. Very uh, steady throw. Not the farthest thrower, but a good player. Amazing putter, too. Amazing. This is our leaderboard after round one. Andrew McGill with the hot round of 10 under. Pretty fire. As said by the emoji. Me and Quinn at nine, Andrew and Bo at eights. And then following suit, the rest, as you can see. This uh, this course is pretty fun. It's very uh, hilly. Uh, it plays around a lake or a reservoir, I guess, as they call it. Hole one, 306 feet downhill. Your shot of choice here is a putter or mid-range class frisbee that you want to leave on the left side and kind of bend to the right. Yeah, if you got a weak arm like Andrew, you throw mid-range. Um, this is a star coyote here that I just kind of threw at 50% down there. Got Quinn throwing a buzz here. Going to throw kind of the same style of shot. Be real, that was like 85%. Quinn leaving it out to the left and letting it drift in. It's a kick. gnarly kick. Dang. I'm throwing a jokery. See that quite a bit. Love that thing. Throwing a nice low buzzer right at it. Chips up there. Gets me on the dance floor. Got Bo here throwing Stingray or a Cobra or something old. He's going to kind of throw the same style of shot. Doesn't quite get it to flip as much as he wants it to here. The rocks and the trees are... You never really know where the disc is going to go when it comes down. Andrew, he's... Uh, I've never seen him play before this weekend, and uh, I'm not quite familiar with his bag, so I'm not too sure on what he's going to be throwing, but he's got a very smooth, nose-up, glidey shot, which is perfect for this course. Got Quinn here laying up from about 70 feet. Dang, call him out like that. He hit cage. Come on. Bo can make these putts on a regular basis. Um, one of his strong suits is these 60 to 80 foot toss ins. That time didn't work out, though. Andrew from about 25. A little cage hit. Maybe first or uh, final round jitters. We got a camera on us. A little scary. I know my feet be shaking in my shoes when there's a camera nearby. Bunch of tap-ins left. And we're going to be moving on to hole two. Yo, what's up with that shirt? Uh, it's Biscuits and Corn. It's a deli out of North Carolina. Go mm. check them out. What do they do? Like put some corn in a biscuit with some sauce? Yeah, it's Pretty like delicious. a cornbread shop. Uh, see Biscuits and Corn. Yeah. Um, we're going to have to make a trip out there, dude. Mile post that. 10, Outer Banks, North Carolina. This hole right here is 252 foot. Uh, Putter Heiser. Got to hit a little kind of window. Um, once you clear that gap, you're pretty wide open. Your miss, if you're going to miss, is going to be right. You do not want to miss left. I'm throwing a jokery again. Straight into that spot he said not to throw. My son didn't listen to me when I told him to miss right, so he threw it kind of straight and missed left. Was that a little squeak there? Did I hear a squeak? We're starting this again, huh? Quinn with his favorite disc in the world, Metal Flake Champion Gator. Specifically those maroon ones. He loves those. This holds the bane of my existence, not going to lie. I think Bo's throwing an AVR X3 here as well. Uh, he's going to lean it to the right side, bring it back to the left. And that'll put him right inside the bullseye. Great shot. 
this uh this sea foam green or green i'm i'm a little colorblind but he throws this a lot andrew does i wish i knew what he was throwing because he threw a lot of the same discs um on multiple different holes here and he threw them quite well too he he's got that nose up glide and it works so good kind of a swooping backhand i got yeah. alex here throwing a an avr right into the tree dude i was in jail come on they got me locked up Went at about 75 feet. Bang. Nice. Quinn's got that uh, nose up shot pretty well, too. He's just, Quinn is so good at distance putting. He's, his close putt, he's a little hit or miss like me. Like, we're a little shaky in the circle sometimes, but him from like 80 to 120 is crazy. He could hit first available and be 120 out and he's gonna hit the putt i'd bet on it i'm a betting man i'd bet six seven out of ten times which is those are good numbers from that far he's a lot like Bo. if he's on from that range bo has got this yellow putter he does the same thing with it's hard to watch there was some dirt on the ground so i had to swipe it away i had uh, ctp here starting off my round two for two don't go tooting your own horn this quick, man. Come on. Come on. Leave in the comments who has bigger calves, me or Andrew. I want to know. Hole three, 285 feet, little forehand and throwing a, a wraith here because I have zero forehand distance. A little Skip it up, gives it a little run. Quinn going sixth in Firebird. He really likes these things for his sidearm. Uh, he gets it out there with a nice width. Quinn puts all 85 pounds of his body weight into that one. Hey, man. Let me hit my boy like that. Bo, not necessarily a forehand player, but this will show you how much of a forehand hole this is. Andrew, with the only backhand of the group, he's going to go backhand turnover. little bit inside you kind of want to get that thing out and let it shelf and glide in there with the ceiling over the basket you really have to exaggerate how left you have to get that thing out there to swoop in low enough to get to the basket with a a good speed so it is a very difficult shot to execute gives it a little bid tough spot had to go like any floaty myself at about 25 i'm guessing little high, but it sticks. I'll take it. Couple of tap-ins for McGilligan and Quinn. This front nine is, uh, it's a very gettable front nine. I like it. It's got a lot of different shots, and they're all right there for the taking. You'd think you'd want to go nine for nine on the front. But when I say this front nine is so frustratingly hard, even though it looks so short, it's really hard to come out of there scoring well. Like if you look at the leaderboard, if we had live scoring at this event, you'd see not a lot of people light up the front like crazy, even though every hole's under 300 feet. Hole four is another one of those shots that's different from everything else. It's a straight putter mid range with a little fade at the end. <laughs> Squeaky is really here, man. Quinn with a buzz. Beautiful shot. It's got a little too much speed and he's a slow down. Checks up all right. He's probably about 30 feet. I'm going Jokery for the third time this round already. It was a little lower than I'd like, but uh, as you can see, I got a nice little skip up there. What am I doing with that bandana, dude? I was feeling fashionable when I woke up in that tent this morning. I felt like I needed it. Didn't last very long. Bo throwing a super sting right here. Kind of had the same shot first round in those trees on the left. Andrew going, looks like mid-range, a little wide. Ends up about halfway, looks like. Bo's pretty much got a pitch up here through the trees. 
well executed. Good job, Bo. Andrew with the same thing, but he gets to go sidearm. Another nice pitch up. Quinn at about 28 feet here, right next to me. Quinn is very like myself, and I know he's shaking in his shoes right now at this distance. And he cans it because he's a monster on the putting green, even though his socks are shaking. I stepped up to this putt very nervous. Um, don't know why, but I was uh, not thinking I was going to make this putt. Yeah, you make it. It's all right. It's what it takes. Bo with a tap in. Looks like myself, Bo, and Andrew are going to be tapping in here. So after hole four, we take a little walk across the parking lot. We're going to end up on the other side, starting on hole five. We'll have the rest of the front nine on that side of the park. These are really the only holes on this side. Besides, I mean, 18, I guess you could consider. But uh, for the most part, it's just those first four holes. Hole five, you kind of have two options here. You could throw this down the middle, mid-range putter shot like I'm throwing. Or you'll see uh, Alex and Quinn's shots here. They go on the outside. It's kind of a straight punch shot um kind of pushes you a little more to right to the right than you want to go um you have a lot of room on the left to kind of hold it tight in there shank i really liked quinn's idea so i, I followed suit i'm gonna try that hyzer as well right through the branch i think i one up him dude i throw it straight in the tree shank you guys, I think we're a foot apart. Probably, yeah. They were. We we just had the same mentality going into this. Aim for trees, don't get a putt. Bo going up the middle as well. Probably another sting, super stingray or cobra maybe. This hole's only 287, but it does play uphill, so it probably plays closer at about 310, maybe 315, if I had to guess. Andrew with a great shot here, showing you the hyzer line. Common thing out here in uh, the Tahoe tournaments is these dang bushes or shrubs or whatever they're called are super difficult to putt in. They make footing very weird. Like right here, I want to step putt, but I got to kick straight through a bush, which isn't fun. Me and Quinn with a couple air balls. I'm gonna let those ones just, just forget about those. Andrew with another shaky 28 footer, but he puts it right in the center. I know he was feeling it there, but he executes well. Quinn from about 16 feet here. Got Alex just inside of him at about That's crazy. 13 feet. That's crazy to say. Those were 20 and 25. I had the sun in my eyes, man. You see that sun shining through? And I caged it. Womp womp. Bo with a little cleanup. These for Bo are like 100%, so I'm not even going to watch. I'm going to close my eyes. I heard chains. We got Andrew stepping up here. CTP with his hyzer line. With that green disc that... We don't know what it is. Andrew, put in the comments what that, that disc is. I really would like to know. Hey, and when you guys get a chance, if you're watching this video, make sure you like and subscribe. We love bringing you disc golf content, and uh, Premium premium Disc loves making content. So please support them so we can keep putting stuff out like this. It's really fun, and we love showing you guys the talent in uh, the Northern California and Northern Nevada area and all the courses that we have to offer. Hole six, 252 feet uphill. Kind of a little flex shot. You have a, a tree second to the first one you see off the tee that you kind of want to decide if you're going to go in front of or behind. Andrew shows you the behind route here. Um, Beautiful nose up glide shot. It's definitely a, a shot shape that you got to kind of execute. Quinn busting out the Zephyr. You guys don't know what a Zephyr is. 
It's a large rim disc, and it maxes out at about 200 grams. And he puts this one a little wider than he liked it, and it didn't quite get the glide that he was hoping, so it came up a little short. Bo throwing his Super Stingray here. Super Stingray is a uh, modified Stingray that is based off of an older disc from the 80s and 90s that uh, is slightly stabilized. Slightly stabilized. Good one. Slightly stabilized. Well, that was a super good shot. So myself with the Jokery, once again, left it, let it leak out left because I got a little weenie arm, but we'll let it slide this time. Quinn from 50. Another run. Myself, 35 and most probably. You know what I don't get is how the commentators, like, say Big Germ, for instance, because he's great at this. I don't know how. Like your putt, he'd be like, that's 28 feet and 7 inches. And he says that with the utmost confidence. I don't get it because I can't tell when I'm standing on the putt. That putt wrecked my confidence. Um, had an unfortunate spit out to the right. Spit out. That was low right. These brother. these Mach 5s don't like high putts, and they don't like low putts. That's true. If you hit on these Mach 5s, top two, even maybe three links, if you're hitting those, it's more than likely going to push out. If you hit low right with not enough contact on those chains, they're going to slip out pretty easily. This is premium disc we're watching right here. Uh, this is their store out here in South Lake Tahoe. It's actually such a cool spot. I hadn't been here until... November of last year and it's so much fun. They have a great selection of discs, bags, tons of knickknacks for disc golf. And they even have climbing walls, baskets, the tech discs. So come check them out if you're ever in the South Lake Tahoe area or Tahoe in general. It's not a super long drive from North Lake. Come check it out. It's a great time. Hole 786 feet uphill. Simple putter shot. Slight fade at the end. No real danger on this one. Unless you leave it high or a little right. Yeah, I think the only real danger of leaving it high is going long because those tree branches are way up there. Like, look how high your shot is. And it worked out. This is definitely one of those must-gets. This whole course is a must-get. I take that back. There's a couple, a couple of toughies. It's one of those courses where if you're not scoring regularly... You are frustrated. Quinn with another uh, Metal Flake Gator 3. Or Gator, not Gator 3, my bad. He's carrying three of those. It's wild. Jokery. Nice tree kick to keep me in the circle. Andrew just laying up here. Pretty much, uh, he's probably 90 to 100 feet out. Pitch it up there, get his bar. Hey, I made one. That's pretty cool. Quinn from 35 ish. Little left. Myself here. 22 foot four roughly 20, 22 foot four yeah it could have been 22 foot six let me text germ real quick see uh see uh his reference on that oh you you missed left it a little low no commitment and had a pretty rough 30 foot roll away there 25 foot roll away hey but you made the longer comebacker that's always good it's a good confidence booster Bow from about 20. Jams it in there like he does. The rest of us are going to be uh, pretty much just cleaning up. Everyone's within about 20 feet now. Kind of see Andrew messing with his footing there. The, uh, the footing on this course is a little rough. You got a lot of duff and sand and rocks and those little sagebrush things that alex was referencing referencing uh they will stab you yeah i mean out here in the tahoe area that's a pretty common thing theme Truckee tahoe even reno 
Uh, you get a lot of these bushes and rocks and they cause really rough footing. So a lot of these longer holes that we'll see, you don't get really a great run up on. You pretty much have to go stand still power shot if it's a par four. No skips. I'm going grenade here just because I, I can't put the speed control on it to keep it in, in distance. So I go straight up, straight down. Andrew throwing this unknown green disc again. We'll call it the green machine because it just gets birdies. I am throwing a Nova down the middle, giving it a little ace run. And uh, you can definitely see the speed control was not there on this shot. Worst disc ever. Another shout out to Innova Disc Golf for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Birthday, dude. Nah, Nova's all right. I just don't like that thump noise it makes when you throw it. Quinn going Zephyr again. Let's see what he's got this time. Leaked out a little early. Yeah, caught the tree. You got to keep it pretty tight to, or it's it's a pretty straight shot, even though you do want to turn it a little bit. That's unlike Quinn. He's normally pretty good. Throwing that Zephyr 200 and in. Bow from about 18 feet here. We're all pretty much in the circle, tapping in for our birdies. Minus Quinn, who will be tapping in for a par. Yeah, this is one of those holes you really want to get. It's right in front of you, but you could throw it. You could try and throw it too soft and end up throwing it low, catching the bushes, being way short, or you give it the air that it needs. Even with good speed, it'll just coast down that hill because from the tee, it's a lot more downhill than it looks on built film, and it's going to be the same thing on the next hole, which is a little longer, but it's going to be a lot more downhill than it looks. It's a very steep downgrade into the parking lot, which will be long OB. So you definitely have to have your speed control on point at this course, because downhill shots are a common theme. Hole nine, 384 feet. Bo left that a little low. I think it's gonna work out for him. Um, this hole's, it's tricky with the right side trees and needing to get that width to swing in. The speed control, like Alex said, is is ideal here. I don't have speed control, so I'm throwing a putter so I can just hammer it. And it works out. It goes pin high, but about 60 right. Andrew lining up. I want to say a fairway driver. Looks pretty good, but it's fading a little early. Yeah, it clipped the tree. Those trees at the end there, they catch a lot of people. I'm yeah. lining up a, a rock three here. You didn't want to be a big dog like me and throw a putter? No, I wanted to punch this down maybe 10 to 12 feet high, and I went 50 feet high. Um, really didn't leave myself anything. What's your hat say? Uh, Cactus Ropes. Oh, I love that brand. They make good stuff. Quinn throwing a Star T-Bird, I believe, that red disc. Quinn has great speed control. He uh, He's not one to hammer on a disc unless he really has to for, like, a distant shot. But when it comes to anything about 400 feet and in, you'll see him disking up more than most people, and he's going to just really smooth the disc down there. Andrew laying up. Andrew also sort of laying up. It looked like he was giving that a little bit of a bid, but that was a pretty tough putt from that distance being so downhill. Oh, Bo almost had it. Bo with that yellow putter again. Win from 50 in the dirt. Myself also 50. How many step putts did you make this round? Zero. How many step putts did I make the first round? I don't know. I made miss this 12 footer right here though zero yeah i don't i don't know how you missed that that's right there you could kick it in the basket
that ties up hole nine. Uh, we didn't really know what any other card was doing. Uh, when we got to the 10th tee pad, the chase card was there, and we were trying to figure out where everyone was at, what we were doing, and no one really wanted to give any information. Yeah, it's pretty tough. It, it definitely took me back to the days where we were playing before life scoring because um, no one knew what was going on. It was kind of hearsay. Like, I know me and Andrew and Quinn, we were all messing with the other cards. They'd come over and ask us what we were shooting, and we'd just tell them some random number. I think we were all two down after, like, 17 holes. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, we got the leaderboard here. We got Andrew at 15 under. He shot a minus five on the front. Tristan shooting a hot front of six under. And uh, the leaderboard pretty much follows from there. We got 15 at the top, 113 and a bunch of 12s and following suit. Uh, Spencer as well shooting a minus six on the front. So some pretty hot scores out there. Six out of nine is pretty good. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to this video as well on the Premium Disc Golf page.